Hello, and welcome to another training video hosted by Wellness Living. Let us get started. Hello, my name is Erica Gonzalez, and in today's video, you will receive information on Wellness Living's newest feature called Alert Center. And so what is Alert Center? Alert Center will now allow you to receive alerts for the following appointment, class and event bookings and notifications from Message Center. And so at this time, you can anticipate having this new feature available to all Wellness Living subscription plans at no additional cost. And once Alert Center is released, it will be pinned to the top navigation bar along with its settings accessible in the new app drawer item called Alerts. And so going back to Alerts found on the top nav bar, when we click, we are able to see the latest notifications. When selecting View More, you are able to get an expanded view of those alerts. You can select View Less to collapse. When selecting the app drawer, we do see that the new item called Alerts and its settings appear. And when you click on it, it will bring you to the alert settings. Let's go back to our alerts located on the top nav bar. Within each notification, whether for a new service booking, for a reoccurring appointment, cancel appointment, appointment request, or message center notification. You will see the following, the client's name, as well as the name of the service, date, and time. In the case that the original names that appear here do change over time, any changes can be traced within the app drawer and the edit log. You can trace the original names to what the change names are in there. Now let's go to our alert settings. I have collapsed alerts within the nav bar. Before we go into alert settings though, there is an important distinction to note is that when clicking on alerts within the nav bar, it will expand to the notifications within the alert center versus when I select alerts from the app drawer, it will bring me to the alert settings. And why this is important to highlight is because this is a distinct feature in that other features, whether on the nav bar or the app drawer will always bring you to the same location. This is not the case for alert center. So something to take note of. Now let's go into alert center. And so within Alert Center and its settings, you are able to configure the settings according to how you would like to receive the alerts and the sound, if you would like to have a sound. And so let's go through the list of alerts in a greater detail of what you can anticipate to receive within Alert Center. And so I briefly mentioned it, but appointments, you are going to receive notifications for new appointment bookings, appointment cancellations, appointment requests. When you receive an appointment booking, it will bring you to the schedule, an appointment cancellation to the client's profile, an appointment request to the schedule. And if you do have the appropriate permissions, you are able to approve or deny the request. Classes, you will receive notifications for class bookings. And when clicking on that notification, it will bring you to the class schedule. You will receive notifications for class cancellations. And when clicking on that notification, it will bring you to the client's profile. Events, you will receive notifications for event bookings. And when clicking on that notification, it will bring you to the schedule. Event cancellations, you will receive a notification for such, and it will bring you to the client's profile. Lastly, with Message Center, you will receive notifications for new messages. Please do note that within Alert Center and in the future, there will be added alerts that will be coming. This is just the beginning. Now let's go into, let's scroll back up into the settings. 
And so here we see the column for receive. And so within receive, you are able to select how you would like to receive a particular notification. And so clicking on receive, we are able to see the drop down menu. So alerts for all staff, when this is selected, this is indicating that you would like to receive all notifications, for example, for appointment bookings. If you select alerts for me, this is indicating that you would only like to receive alerts for appointment bookings that you only are running. Lastly, for no alerts, this is indicating that you would like to receive no alerts for appointment bookings. By default, alerts for me is what is going to be selected within the alert settings. In addition, if the original setup was set to not receive notifications for a certain staff role, but then the business changes this so that that staff member can gain access within Alert Center, it will still consider the original staff permissions. And what this means for alert settings with those limitations within a staff role is that they're also limited to what they can select within receive, which would most likely be only being able to select alerts for me and no alerts. They would not be able to select alerts for all staff. Finally, we have the sound column. And so with each appointment booking, cancellation, etc., going down the list, you are able to toggle on or off if you would like to have a sound. Currently, there is one sound, which is the sound of a ping. And by default, the sound is toggled on. So please choose accordingly. And that is everything. We have talked everything about Alert Center, alerts within the nav bar, the notifications that you will receive, being able to configure alert settings within the app drawer. And of course, there will be future alerts added. And so we thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.